Hi there, John here for Tech Radar, and I've got the brand new Vivo Apex Concept phone here at MWC in Barcelona. Now, as the name suggests, this is a concept, so you won't be able to buy it. And to be honest, the technology in it isn't quite ready for the mainstream, but it's giving us a nice little glimpse into the future, maybe a year or two down the line, of what our flagship smartphones may be able to offer us. As you may be able to tell, there's not a lot of bezel in this bad boy. Around these three edges, you're looking at less than two mil, and at the bottom, just over four mil. That's a really low amount of bezel. And another key feature you may not have noticed is there's no notch. That's correct, there's no notch. So where has Vivo hidden all the bits that the notch houses? First up, the earpiece, and that is under the display. It uses vibrations through the screen and through the metal frame around it to pump the sound into your ear when you're on a call. There are dual stereo speakers on the bottom uh, for playing music, but yeah, during calls, it comes through the screen. Pretty smart. Next up, the light sensor. That's placed on the top of the phone rather than the more traditional position of the front. Um, there's also a proximity sensor Sensor under the display so when you hold the phone up to your ear it will turn the screen off so you're not wasting vital battery life and then the fun part is where's that front-facing camera no it isn't under the screen what you have to do is you fire up the camera hit the button to turn to the selfie camera and bam it pops up 0.8 seconds and your little front-facing camera rises majestically from the metal frame now it is a very fun little feature and I've had a great amount of time playing with it, going up and down, up and down. There are, you know, obviously some obvious questions. What happens if I drop the phone and the camera's out? It's a potential weak point that could break easily. Um, but again, it's just one solution to how do you get around not having a notch, but having all the sensors, speakers, and cameras still there as you expect on your smartphone. So this is just one implementation and it's an interesting one at that. But the real talking point about this particular phone is the fingerprint scanner. Now, Vivo are the guys who bought you the world's first smartphone with an in-display fingerprint scanner. We saw the tech at CES, and now it's taken things one step further. With the Apex concept, you're not just having to put your finger on a small circular fingerprint icon on the screen, you get almost half of the bottom half of the screen to put your finger, and it'll be able to read it anywhere on that area any orientation they've made the scanner bigger making it easier for you to unlock your phone no matter how you're holding it so that's a really smart feature now this tech does work but there are a few caveats you have to hold your fingers down quite hard on the screen and there's a slight more noticeable lag versus traditional fingerprint scanners on phones also it does take a little while to sometimes register your fingerprints. It's not quite accurate every time, but that's because the tech is still in development. Again, this is a concept phone. It's just showing what is possible and this will only be refined and improved. And before you know it, these in-display fingerprint scanners will be in a whole range of flagship phones, but Vivo is currently leading the way in the technology and it's a really cool implementation of it. Another nice feature of this larger fingerprint area is it can read more than one fingerprint at the same time. So if you wanted added security for certain and folders or areas of your phone, you can register two fingerprints. They don't even have to both be your fingerprints. You and your partner could have a fingerprint each to hide some dubiously sensitive information. I'm not gonna question how you live your life or what you want to hide, but the option could be there in a few years time on a smartphone coming to you. But there you have it. That is the Vivo Apex concept. A really kind of cool phone. Hardly any bezels, a pop-up camera, and a super big in-display fingerprint scanner that I simply can't wait to see in consumer phones in the next six to 18 months.